every you know year around this time, we see posts about pollution on the ice. Okay, garbage on the ice. There, there seems to be a um, percentage of ice anglers that are dirty bastards. I mean, I don't know how, how else to put it. Just degenerates. It's not just an angling. They just happen to be anglers. But you would think outdoor people would be somewhat more aware of their surroundings and understanding. It's kind of nice to you know fish in a place not full of garbage. And so that brings me to this post that I saw recently. <clears throat> and I need to make sure I bring up the right. Here it is. Okay, so this was on the Minnesota Sturgeon Fishing uh, Facebook group, okay? And this individual says, to whoever, this is from, this is Chris Ehrman. Chris says, to whoever fished this spot and left all the empty trulies and other trash I picked up after you. Please. What's a truly? Truly is like a seltzer. All the okay. girls drink it. It's Thank like, you. it's, this you were talking about to... frat boys earlier. That's like, yeah. frat boys are very happy that truly is a thing because. This explains the end of this post, but go ahead. Uh, please be more courteous to the fishery and other anglers. Also, I left your used condom as I'm not picking that up. It was tough to spot as it was a little small, but it explains why you're drinking seltzer beer. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. So that was on the, that was on the Minnesota uh, Sturgeon Fishing Facebook group, right? And That's here's a picture of it. It doesn't. He's already. He's already. Um, he's already picked it up and he's put it in the truly box. All the trash that was. Um, that was surrounding. That was all over this area. That this person had their shelter. Um, but it, it isn't that something. How this happens every <coughs> year. And and I just brought up another another well, picture. And the other thing is, who's getting action in like a pop up ice house? Not me. Well. I mean, not well, on I, the fishing end or any other end. I'm not generally seeing any action. Yeah. I, well, I've, I've brought up, you may have remembered, uh, do you remember when we went out ice fishing, sturgeon fishing with the... <laughs> I know where you're going with this. With the... I brought up that picture of that site that we found that <laughs> uh, out there on St. Croix that was just the most hideous uh, example of pollution I think I've ever seen on the ice. Yeah. I see here there's two... I mean, do you remember this, Pete? There was, looks like th four uh, cans of Mountain Dew, uh, two bottles of water. It looks to be some urine in the uh, on the outskirts of where they had their, um, their shelter. Urine's acceptable, to be clear. I see a cigarette butt. Yeah, and it looks to be also some toilet paper. Um, so I don't know. I if you're good, if you're gonna ice fish, <clears throat> please clean up your shit. Yeah, I mean, just seriously, pick up it's be not that hard. But it seems like this is something that always happens around this time. There's, there's. It seems like, especially when they start pulling houses at the end of February, that's when it really ramps up. You know, like when that cutoff kicks in for the southern half of the state. Yeah. And you got to bring in the big house, so you have one big, you know, throw down at the old ice house, and then you just leave a mess. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's like a tradition now. It's yeah. Like, and and the bad thing is too is that can that stuff gets like it like almost like fossilized sort of you know and and and, and if you get like snow over it and then it's just yeah. like there's no way to clean it up you know you and then it shows it up. The Right. It just gets burnt into the ice, and then you're like, what do I even do here? But it really is. Come on, people. I mean, carry your weight. It really is frustrating to walk out on the ice and see that. I've never seen it in that sort of intense level. Yeah. But it really does suck to witness. I've seen it a couple of times. I'm like, seriously? Just even when I'm drunk, I don't ever think, let's just litter. Yes. Yeah. You know? No, it's... It's uh, it's a bizarre, it's a b bizarre behavior. Uh, it's, it's, I think what ha like there's a certain um, there's a certain percentage of the population that just still has a, a caveman gene, you know, and they 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 haven't uh, they haven't evolved past it, and so yeah. you see it kind of express itself uh, in these situations. They get out on the <laughs> ice, they're in their cave, you know. There's some 
alcohol involved most likely and they're just they right. just resort to um acting me like make, neanderthals me make baby leave pile of bottles <laughs> Thanks for tuning into the podcast. If you've enjoyed our content, please consider subscribing to Another Fishing Podcast on iTunes, which is available also on just about every major podcasting platform. We'd love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Angling Uploaded. And for exclusive benefits, become a member on Patreon. So go to patreon.com and search Angling Uploaded. Become a member Oh, God, we love you if you do that. Thanks, guys.